morning, everyone. Welcome to CWM Wednesday meeting. Today is December 28th. Finally, we reached to uh, last week of the year. So today we want to talk about uh, <clears throat> one of the topics of managing clients. When we talk to clients and also uh, public participants, when you go to uh, year end party, a lot of people is going to talk about, uh, a lot of people are talk about, um, uh, talking about uh, what's going on in real estate market. So I just want to touch the basics. We want to go back to basic. Why we shouldn't wait to buy a home. There are five reasons, mostly uh, financial aspects, okay? But of course, there are many other reasons that we um, should buy a home now. But uh, today, we want to take a look at uh, mostly uh, financial reasons. Okay, number one. Home values always rise in the wrong run. Well, of course, uh, <clears throat> home values in the United States historically climbed over time. Well, still there are sometimes ups and downs. So can uh, periodically dip as they did during the Great Recession. And also we know the... Um, financial crisis. But in the long run, the real estate in the United States has been an excellent investment, no doubt about it. Nobody can argue with that. Even adjusted for inflation, home values today are multiple times higher than they were in 1940s and 1950s. Uh, that's why um, we are interested in uh, buying a home. Home prices have increased in each decade since then, even in the 2000s, with a dip during the recession. Well, let's take a look at some uh, graph here. Okay, year 2012, as we see, there was a financial crisis. But since then, the next year, 3.44% up. Uh, next year, 6.14% up. The next year, year 2015, 4.37% up. And so on. The next year, 5.34. And the next year, year 2017, 5.4%. Year 2018, 5.65%. Year 19, 4.7%. 4.07%, but year 2020, of course, is a coronavirus, um, but went up only 2.85%. Now everybody knows year 2021, the house price rose 11.31%, but this is just the average, but um, like the metro cities, we we notice a close to 20% increase. So if you see long run, still house values always rise in the long run. Okay, that's the first reason. The second reason is your investment value will grow faster. Particularly when we say here investment is the money out of your own pocket, which means typically we call down payment. Okay. And um, if you have, let's say $20,000 um, US dollar, I mean, you can do down payment, and also you can do save in the uh, in the bank, okay? And uh, if you do that, of course, you can compare uh, what is this interest rate for the saving account. 
And if you put down this to a down payment, what's going to happen? Actually, down payment is only your investment, correct? That's the only cash out of your own pocket. So that's the that's investment. The rest of money is actually is not yours. It's a bank's money. Well, uh, while it's harder to ask, uh, access, the money is still yours because the money is not, you cannot see the money. Well, in the bank saving account, you can check the bank account, you see the numbers, but the down payment you cannot see. Okay, so it's harder to access. However, it's equity in your home. So down payment will likely grow in value much faster than money in a saving account. Let's make an example, $20,000 down payment for $400,000 house. As you see this chart, relatively about 5%, let's say, annually increase. So relatively conservative 5% annual price appreciation rate after five years, the house price becomes 510500 So a profit is more than um, $110,000. So you can see your initial investment was $20,000. And under the condition that you keep paying your uh, mortgage payment, if you can handle that, your $20,000 down payment grew to $110,000 in five years. Nobody can beat that uh, growth. So second reason to, uh, to buy a house now is your investment value will grow faster. And so this is another chart. It shows uh, home price, median US home price. 2012, it was $245,000. US average uh, nationwide median price we're talking about. And as you know, year 2021, the median price was 397,000. Now year 2022, we didn't have a chart here. It went over $400,000. I believe you can see the chart later in the news brief, like $470,000. So <clears throat> uh, that's a medium price. This is not a metro area. This is um, nationwide. So you can see this span is only uh, one decade. Only just uh, 10 years later, the price it was 10 years ago, $245,000. And 10 years later, it's $400,000. So you can see clearly. And the third reason that you have to buy now, buy a home. Again, this, these are the basics, but when we talk to each other, you have to be uh, speak loudly and speak logically. So these five points that almost uh, we need to uh, memorize. The number three, the, your housing payment builds your net worth. We often, we cannot uh, articulate why you have to buy a home. But when we go through these points, then you kind of um, refresh your memory again and so that you can articulate, you can speak out clearly one, two, three, four, five. So your net worth will be built, net worth, not landlords. Okay, when you do rent, you pay money for uh, landlords uh, net worth. But when you keep the house, when you buy or buy, purchase house, you build your own net worth. Okay. So when you buy a house or live in a rental, you have to pay money anyway. Okay. 
So you might as well use those payments to build your own wealth, not someone else's, like a landlord. When you own your home, part of your monthly payment go to pay uh, down the principal on your loan. So every month you pay the principal. Uh, this builds equity. The difference between that you owe on your mortgage and what your home is worth. You can access, as, uh, access this wealth when you sell your home or while you remain in your home through home equity loans or cash out refinance. So once you build, you cannot see the equity. But as time goes, you build your own equity. Now, later on, you can utilize this equity. You can get a loan for your uh, business investment. Okay, or if you have some emergency, you can cash out refinance as well. And um, one of my favorite um, Brandeis University th uh, thesis, they compare um, African-American group and they compare um, the assets of a white group. Okay, and they track these groups for 25 years or something. And they compare the difference of this group's assets. Okay, and uh, they found out after 25 years later, um, in the beginning, if when they uh, compare these two groups, the difference was only the asset difference was only like eighty thousand dollars, if I remember correctly. But twenty five years later, this white group has um, two hundred fifty thousand dollars more assets than the black, uh, the African American uh, group, and they searched the reason why there was uh, this big gap between this. Uh, the assets of these two groups. They found out, of course, primary reason is it was income, but second reason was the white group purchased house eight years earlier than a black group. Okay, so I I, I, I think I introduced this thesis um, before. So this is what they exactly did during the white group Okay, they purchased house earlier in, in, the, in the early age, a younger age, then they build up the asset, net worth. Okay, number four. Of course, we cannot uh, ignore tax benefits. Home-related tax benefits can give you a break. The most pity things is high income, uh, single youngsters without house. They keep paying high rent, very pitiful. They pay a lot of tax. So owning your home also comes with a tax benefit that you won't enjoy as a renter. One of the biggest benefits is the home mortgage interest deduction. Plus, you can deduct all the uh, mortgage interest at the end of the year. Now is a tax season. Okay. Plus also uh, salt. Well, if your loan amount is less than seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, then yes, you you deduct a hundred percent of mortgage interest. Okay, deduction from your income. Now plus also. Um, the property tax, well, unfortunately, um, until year 2025, you can deduct your property tax up to only $10,000. Okay, hopefully after 2025, uh, it's going to be uh, gone. But uh, because of Trump, um, he made this, uh, um, I think back then, executive order. 
Okay. But anyway, you can deduct all the mortgage interest uh, plus uh, up to $10,000 so-called SALT. Um, it's a state and a local tax. So property tax is local tax. Like you pay this property tax to the municipality. So we call overall state and local tax is a SALT, S-A-L-T. Uh, you can deduct up to $10,000. So tax break is uh, also uh, one of the biggest uh, advantage owning home. Number five, you can always refinance in the future. Well, currently mortgage rate seems high right now, but they still uh, low uh, by historical standards. Uh, 80s, we remember interest, home mortgage interest they hit 18% the top. For the first few years, the Federal Reserve held the rate artificially low to bolster the economy during the pandemic. We understand that. They are coming now as a way to tamp down inflation, which may or may not work. But uh, I think right now it's kind of working. Inflation, inflation rate goes down. Um, well, still, I think grocery is still, uh, the price is high, but all others, gas, um, all other durable goods uh, went down. Well, we'll see the news brief, uh, even um, the container uh, price, the cargo price also went down, and all the uh, delivery chain, the um, the transportation is kind of calmed down right now. So, and the mortgage rate will continue to fluctuate over time. See, sometimes we see too much uh, influenced by um, just a bit of mortgage rate. You know, if your mortgage rate is a little bit higher than it's not to buy a house, then the next year, what are you going to do? Okay, so if you keep analyzing when is a good time to buy a house, then you're never going to buy a house. I think of youngsters, I have um, 38 years or daughter, and I keep saying, um, you, have to, you have to prepare your own shelter. And she understands she, she is trying to make a down payment. And um, so... It's a fluctuate over time, but overall, this one, two, three, four, these principles never change. If rate goes down, rates goes down, you may be able to refinance your mortgage to lower interest rate you pay and reduce your monthly payment. The good thing about uh, uh, the refinance mechanism, refinance mechanism, when you go into when when you, you purchase house with a certain rate, the interest rate goes up then you don't follow because it's a fixed mortgage, 30 years. If interest rate goes down, you follow that low interest by refinance. So, I mean, this is a great uh, opportunity while right? you lock into 30 years mortgage. And uh, during this 30 year, year, if your mortgage rate goes up, you don't pay a high mortgage. You just fix your mortgage rate. If mortgage rate goes down, then you follow the, the down, um, the lower interest rate by refinancing. I mean, why not? Uh, you're buying a house. Okay, so um, yes, uh, interest rate fluctuates, ups and downs, but these five principles never change. So, um, <clears throat> And sometimes, some area, uh, the mortgage rate plus the uh, property tax all together is cheaper than uh, rent price. Some area. Okay, there's some other area, maybe about same. Some other area, we understand the uh, mortgage payment uh, plus tax is higher than rent. We understand that. But, but what about other? Uh, uh, the reason, the, your equity, okay, your tax benefit, okay? So um, all these five um, points that we want to remember 
and we want to uh, use this as uh, as when we converse with um, each other and especially when you talk to your youngsters uh, sons and daughters make sure these five points so they can get the uh, start they can start earlier as i said this uh, brandeis uh, uh, university's um, a research paper uh, white group purchased the house eight years earlier than the black group. I mean, this is academic uh, research. So that's why after 25 years, the uh, asset amount, the gap is widened. Okay. Uh, still, uh, why we have to buy a house? Why youngsters have to buy a house? Um, 그왜 우리 그 젊은이들이 지금 집을 많이 사야 되는지 다시 우리가 다 아는 거지만 다섯 가지 원칙을 다시 한번 좀 우리가 살펴봤으면 좋겠어요. 첫 번째는 그 당연히 홈 밸류는 롱 런으로 봤을 때 장기적으로 봤을 때 always 올라간다. 그렇죠? 그거는 우리가 다 아는 거죠. 어, 그래서 퍼센테이지로 볼 때, 퍼센테이지로 볼 때, 물론 이제 이런 그 리세션이라든지, 그 다음에 금융위기라든지, 이런, 어, 그, <웃음> 아, temporary 다운되는 때가 있긴 하죠. 오케이. 그러나 overall 봐야 돼요. 우리가 30년, 40년, 그 다음에 lifetime으로 봤을 때에, 어, 매년 우리가 집값이 한 5% 정도는 올라가는 걸로 본다. 에버리지로. 그래서 이건 실질적인 통계죠. 12년도에는 우리가 금융위기 때 물론 떨어졌었고요. 그리고 그 다음에 3.4%, 6.1%, 4.47% 계속 올라간단 말이죠. 5.34 해서 21년도, 22년도에는 특이한 해였죠. 그죠. 11%가 기록이 됐고, 2022년에는 더, 메, 메트로 에어리아는 20% 가까이까지 치솟아 올라갔다. 그래서, 롱 런으로 봐야 된다. 그랬을 때에 집값은 always appreciate 한다. 두 번째는, 이 investment이 빠르게 자라난다. 그러니까 우리가 이제 흔히 얘기하죠. 이, 이 만불이 다음 페이가 있다면, 그걸 은행에 넣어놓는 방법이 있고 그 다음에 집을 살 때에 다음 필요하는 방법이 있다. 그런데 어프리시에이션을 계산하면 쉽게 계산할 수가 있다. 그래서 5년 뒤에 집값이 한 10만 불 올라가면 그 2만 불이 결국은 나의 인베스트먼트는 2만 불밖에 없는 거죠. 나머지는 은행에서 되, 되니까 그러니까 나의 인베스트먼트는 2만 불인데 결국은 어, 그것이 5년 뒤에 5년 뒤에 어, 몇 배가 되는 거죠? 다섯 배가 되는 거죠. 그럴 수는 없다. 은행에, 은행이라든지 어떤 것도, 어, 그렇게 할 수는 없다. 물론, 그건 많이 아니죠. 내가 거기에 살고 있으면서, 살고 있으면서 늘어나는 거예요. 내가 사는 돈을 렌트비를 따로 내고, 그 다른 돈으로 스탁해서 보는 게 아니라, 내가 거기서 살고 있으면서 이런 돈을 번다는 거죠. 이, 나의 인베스트먼트가 grow fast 한다는 거죠. 자, 어, 그리고, 이제, 그래서 이것은 다른 차트로, 이제, 절, 그, 집 값을 얘기를 해준 건데, 12년도에 우리가 전국적인 미디언 프라이스가 24만 5천이었다. 그런데 10년 사이에 40만으로 올랐다. 집값 자체가. 그거는 뭐, 우리가 어쩔 수 없는 사실이란 말이죠. 10년만 살아도 이런데, 그렇죠? 우리가 거기다가 다시 10년 전, 20, 20년 전, 30년 전을 따지면 이게 얼마나 올라가는지는 우리가 상상할 수가 있다. 자, 세 번째는 net worth가 증가한다. 그렇죠? net worth가. 만약에 rent pay하고 비슷한 mortgage payment, tax하고 합쳐서 manage 할수 있다면 그렇다면은 렌트는 랜로드의 넷워스를 키워주는 거고 어, 집을 사는 사람은 나의 넷워스를 에셋을 계속 증가시켜주는 것이다. 그 어떤 게임에 들어가겠느냐 이런 얘기죠. 
제가 흔히 얘기하지만은 이제 잘 아는 분이 30년 미국 와서 생활했는데 어, 어떤 분은 집을 샀단 말이죠. 근데 이분은 30년 동안 그냥 렌트를 살았어요. 살기는 편했을지 모르지만 30년 지난 뒤인이 되다 보니까 어, 그 집을 어렵게 샀던 친구는 집한 채가 떨어졌고 계속 렌트로 살았던 이분은 또 렌트를 찾으러 다녀야 돼요. 에셋이 아무것도 없다. Fat Zero죠. 아, 그 아주 극명한 그런 그 예인데 아무튼 그래서 어, Your Net Worth를 증가시켜라. 그러면 에코티로 자라나는 거는 나중에 어, 뭐 자녀가 사업을 하고 싶다 아니면 내가 사업을 해야 되겠다 그럼 사업 자금이 이제 에코티 론을 할 수가 있고 아니면 이제 캐시가 필요하다 그러면 이제 리파이낸스 할 수가 있다. 아, 그래서 랜로드의 네트워크를 키워주지 말아라. 그 다음에 텍스 베네핏 무시할 수 없다. 텍스 베네핏은 모기지 인트레스를 낸 것을 다 디덕션 시켜주잖아. 그러니까 어떻게 보면 돈이 좀더 들어가는 것 같지만 사실은 뒤로 받는 혜택이 상당히 많은 거죠. 특히 얘기했지만 싱글 중에서 결혼하지 않았는데 어, 페이는 괜찮게 받는다. 어, 이런 자녀를 둔 사람들은 너무 아까운 거죠. 텍스 브레이크 굉장히 높아요. 그래서 론 어마운트가 75만 이하 되는 거에 대한 모기지는 전부 다 어, 공제를 할 수가 있고 플러스 여기에다가 적지는 않았지만 또 어, 프라파티 텍스가 또 있죠. 우리가 어, 지방세죠. 그거는 페더럴세가 어, 아니죠. 그래서 솔트라고 부르는 거 그것도 만불까지 공제할 수 있다. 그러니까 모기지 인트레스트 플러스 만 불까지 해서 어 몇만 불이건 공제할 수 있다. 집이 보통 모기지 인트레스트가 한뭐 웬만한 집한 15,000, 18,000 원 돼요. 1년에 합쳐보면. 그러면 그, 그거를 그 인컴에서 공제를 할수 있으니까 상당한 텍스 베네핏을 볼 수가 있다. 자 그다음에 이제 또 좋은 것은 이제 에코티가 쌓여가면서 항상 리파이낸스를 할수 있어요. 이 모기지 레이스의 특징 어, 그거는 이제 이 자본주의 사회, 특히 미국 정부에서 그렇게 이제 어, 해놓은 거죠. 왜 집을 사도록 어, 집을 사야 모든 것이 안정되고 경리가 잘 돌아가기 때문에 어, 뭐죠? 인트레스트가 올라가면 그냥 30년 고정이니까 가지고 있으면 돼요. 인트레스트 레이스는 올라가기도 하고 떨어지기도 하고 그죠? 근데 만약에 떨어지면 리파이낸싱을 해서 떨어진 이자율로 따라간단 말이죠. 그러니까 이 게임을 왜안 하느냐 이거죠. 그렇죠? 그러니까 어, 제 생각에는 집을 사는 타이밍, 살수 있는 다음 페이가 있는 지금이 베스트 타임이다 이런 생각을 들어요. 언제든지. 어, 그래서 어, 높은 좀 이자율을 주고 샀더라도 어, 나중에 인트레스트가 더 올라가면 어, 그만큼 어, 상대적인 이익을 본다 그럴까요? 그 다음에 인트레스 레이트가 분명히 떨어질 거다. 떨어지면 은 리파이낸싱 하면 은그 어, 먼틀리 그, 어, 좀 예, 힘든 게 훨씬 줄어들게 된다. 이런 것들이 예, 있는 거죠. 오케이, okay, so uh, pretty much you know all this, but uh, again, we want to uh, be able to articulate okay? one, two, three, four, five. So clearly, um, we can convey our thought to especially uh, youngsters and um, the renters. There are so many renters. They are uh, really um, uh, having a tough time to get a rent. And they have to also move uh, you know, every certain period, a year later or two years later, uh, still rent going up. It's very hardly we can hear rent goes down. Very hard to hear that. So I hope uh, uh, this uh, the basics uh, will help you uh, to have a conversation over the um, year end uh, holiday parties and, uh, and New Year gatherings. Okay, thank you for joining. See you all next week. Next week, by the way, we are not going to have a Zoom session. Uh, the Sealand uh, real estate agents will get together in Foley office. So all the um, <clears throat> participants uh, through Zoom will see a second week of January.